Yeah, I mean, everything feels good. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> do I really want to go all the way up there? <laughs> Dude. It's high, huh? And yeah. you just got like rock right there. And it's just like... Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do it. <laughs> This is the worst video. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. All right, everybody, welcome back to Miguel Climbs. Surprise, surprise, I brought Gaz outside. What are you thinking about today, dude? Are you nervous, scared, like don't know what to expect? Definitely nervous, definitely feel apprehensive, anxious, yeah. all of those feelings, yeah. I've got all the feels. Awesome, dude. <laughs> so I brought you here to beautiful Gateway Canyon, Red Rock. There's a ton of really hard kind of V10, V11s, V12s, but we just checked in the guidebook and found an awesome boulder with some V0s, V1s. I think we should practice our technique on there mm -hmm. and uh, we came with our buddies Pat and Mike Doyle today they're trying to work on a very hard climb if we're struggling maybe they could help us out but I think uh, we should go in with confidence dude yeah no let's try it and uh, if we need them we need them yeah exactly <laughs> we'll okay let's see where this takes us today dude you ready yeah man so here we are it is pretty nice being outside though right Kaz yeah I definitely get it the appeal of coming out, it's quiet, you're out in the sun, in the nature, but um, it's a bit of a time commitment, right? Yeah, so that's the one thing that always kind of irked me about outdoor climbing. I live like 45 minutes away, uh -huh. and when I decide to come outside, it's just a pretty much a half day commitment or more. Yeah, and like for me right now, like climbing in the gym is also my workout. Right. I feel like I'm maybe not getting the biggest workout. So like the gym ticks a lot of boxes for me in that respect. It's like fun. It's a workout. It's so sure. Buddies. Yeah. It's really time effective. Yeah. So like and outdoor doesn't tick all those boxes. Right. Yeah, no no shade on outdoor climbing whatsoever. It's amazing. But when you're limited on time, gym climbing is just freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. No, but I'm having, a, I'm having a great time. Yeah, sure. dude, let's uh, let's get you scared on this view. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. it is like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a bit intimidated. Yeah. But it is a zero, so I guess maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised once I'm on it. But right. I'm not optimistic. All right, dude. Way. Should we put a pad here? Or yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got a 152 yeah. left at V zero. Let's try that first. Yeah. Okay. So. okay. Yeah. At some point. I guess you just like scramble this thing. Nice cats. How's it feel? Uh, it feels good. Everything feels good right now. Just uh yeah, just making sure like feel good on every hold. Yep, and make sure you're under the pad or over it. Yeah, which I am. I guess right now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So the thing about outdoor climbing is definitely knowing where to put your hands and feet, right? Yeah, like, I feel like I was okay on that, but... Yeah. At the same time, I wasn't sure whether just to like really commit my weight to it. Yeah. Because maybe there might be some other feet. Okay, let's see. That's the fun <laughs> part about outdoor climbing, dude. <laughs> Figuring it out, right? Yeah, man. I think I think you'll you'll probably get it. You're more experienced than me. So tell me your thoughts on outdoor climbing so far. Yeah, I mean it's a bit. Um, not so intimidating, but like I, I, I like to have a go. But yeah, once I'm on the rock, definitely feel a bit apprehensive about really going for moves. Yeah. Um, you know, in the gym, very familiar with all the holds. They're right there. I know exactly where I'm going. Um, there's also just pads everywhere. So like, yeah, I feel a bit apprehensive going yeah. for moves for sure. Yeah, that felt pretty good. 
The hardest part is coming down actually. I'll show you guys how to come down once Cat sends it right now. So I'm gonna come on over here and show you guys some close-ups of what we're touching and what we're smearing. Like you're basically just pushing weight onto the wall into yeah. the wall as you make your hands up. And Kaz, you're looking good right now, buddy. Feel good. Yeah, I, I could see you're more confident than the first time already. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, right there. And then you're gonna, yep, bring feet up and then roll a heel up and over once you feel confident. Yeah, anywhere up there that feels good, Kaz. Bring a right foot to where your left foot is. And you're gonna kick a left heel up and just roll over onto it. That's it, buddy. Looking good, man. Yep, roll on over. Sick, dude. You got the jitters out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah, so. The right hand wasn't great. No, it wasn't. So at this moment in the game, you just kind of sit at the top of the boulder and reflect. Yeah, you could flex too if you're an egomaniac. But yeah, this is where the reflection happens and uh, I think that's really another appeal of outdoor bouldering. Yeah, the scenery out here is definitely next level. If you guys are from uh, somewhere other than Vegas, you definitely want to come out here and experience this. It's pretty magical. So basically now, the top out's the same, but we come straight up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's try that next. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna try the V1 that goes up the face of this thing see if we could keep building Cass's confidence. How we feeling after a V2 and a, or sorry, a V0 and a V1, dude? Yeah, good, man. Um, having fun on this boulder, it's quite nice because I feel like the consequences aren't, aren't that large yeah. and like you can be quite controlled and like if, if I want to bail, I can come off quite easily. So yeah, I feel quite comfortable. Sick, dude. The hardest thing definitely for me is still knowing where to trust feet and hands and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I have noticed like that your feet stick. Really? Outside. Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling like they stick like really well. Yeah, so you're but, really... And, but then it's the opposite with the hands. The, hand, <laughs> yeah. the hands are like not as good. But so. I guess that's really good that you're trusting those solutions, yeah. dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, they've worked out well. Yeah, you got it. There's that, there's that skater style. All right, uh, V2 time. Let's do it. The V2 proved a little more difficult than the first two climbs. We were having trouble finding our feet on this slab, as well as holds, because there wasn't much chalk on there and it was just very easy to bail once we got four or five feet off the ground we didn't want to go too high but the hardest thing was definitely finding feet and trusting where you were going next yeah right there is that good sick and then right hand where you first tried to go left come on Kaz, matt's right under you yeah sick dude yeah sick come on breathe relax you got it Okay. Yeah, I just Dude, the height. You got farther than before. I know, it's just the height. <laughs> I'm like... So sick, dude. And I just, I, like, I don't know if I want to send it that bad. Or right. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need some experienced climbers. To just show don't us want to do that scary part. This is the worst video. <laughs> It's like a... <laughs> Once you turn 40, dude. <laughs> but I mean, it's the reality for a lot of uh, climbers our age, right? Like, we're just being real here. Um, like, yeah, do I want to do it that bad? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that being said, why don't we check on our friends and yeah, yeah. give us some tips, dude. They're, they're very experienced climbers. Let's do it. <laughs> Yo, how's it going over there, pro climbers? We, uh, <laughs> I think we did a total of like six moves between the two of us. Yeah. Wow. wow. Feeling accomplished. We're just soaking yeah. in all the glory right now. 
I did three moves. Yeah, I mean, that's the hard V11, Book of Nightmares. Pretty ridiculous. Well, except that people have done it to Nooks. <laughs> yeah. So we're having a trouble with a V2 over here. You guys want to give us some beginner tips? Nope. Come on, pro climbers, let's do this. That might be embarrassing. <laughs> no. What if we mess it up? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, the internet wants some tips. All right, we're gonna see if they, <laughs> we're gonna see if they come over and help us out here. All right, let me introduce you to the channel over here, Pat. Oh hey, what's up, man? So you are like the top pro climber in Vegas. Or something? <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> he's, he's we, we live we live in a day and age where there's a lot of hashtag yeah. fake news, and I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> fake news. Yeah. But I'm, I'm very happy because uh, Pat lives next door to Kaz over here and we've been trying to get Kaz to climb outside for years. And Pat said something, right? Got Kaz out here. Yes, sir. But, I got that magic touch. Yeah. Um, since you've got so much experience though, Pat, in quotation marks, <laughs> just uh, give us some beginner tips after you send this on your first go, yeah? Oh gosh. <laughs> this looks like you're probably gonna wanna stand on your feet. Right. Keep your hips close to the wall. Uh, don't, you don't want to step too high. I think that's also a big problem that a lot of beginner climbers will do is they'll try to step too high. Okay. And then, then it's hard to rock up onto the foot if you're trying to walk them up. Can, and then, uh, what would be the other big tip? Anything Just, uh, uh, like mental, mental aspects of it maybe? Yeah, climb light because they look a little fragile up there. Okay. Which and I'm by gonna, that you mean don't like Bear down yeah, on. don't do big dynamic moves. Try not to pull out as much. Right. Just pull down. Okay. Don't say just. That's also another. <laughs> right. Don't, don't never, say never just. Say just. <laughs> so, Mike, can you just like, uh, you know, how, yeah, how yeah, bad absolutely. he is the whole time? Dude, you said hips close to the wall. What are you doing? <laughs> big light thoughts. I'm trying to grab onto these holds without dying. That dad bod is really setting you back. <laughs> Kaz, you see that? He's like so confident. Yeah. Well, he's still on good feet. This, yeah. But that's a big part of experience is learning what little feet. The, the biggest difference between outdoor and indoor is the feet. Okay. Sure. Like indoor climbing, it's rare to have really bad feet indoor. They, they might make slick stuff, but like, it's rare you have to like smed your feet onto a. So I'm moving really slow and trying not to weigh these holds up here. Okay and then trying to pull down on the holds instead of out. Got it. Especially this one, cause it's got like a big horn on it. Uh-huh. But yeah, there were a few feet down low that you had to just kind of trust them. Got now it. Now here there's a big flake, but I don't trust that. So I'm gonna use the more solid rock. Wow. How would you grade that, Mike? Uh, he did that pretty smooth. Yeah, okay. Yeah, even I gotta admit he did that pretty smooth, <laughs> but he should. Being as old as he is and yeah. this experience, and being the best rock climber in Vegas, That's he should true. make that look easy. That's so. true. All right, well, Mike, let me introduce you to the channel because it's taken two years for me to get you on the channel. <laughs> it here. took you coming outside on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, so this is Mike Doyle, everybody. Hey. He is a La Sportiva athlete, yeah? Yep. And uh, you used to coach in, back in your day, too? Yeah, I, uh, I coached the Canadian national team for quite a few years. Sick. Um, I still heckle. Yeah. Um, so I still, I'm a professional criti critique giver. Yeah. So just a little more background on Mike here as he cruises up Monkey Right V6. He's definitely a staple in the Las Vegas community. I've seen him at the refuge many times, but just never had a chance to climb and talk with him. But Mike hails from Canada. He got his coaching start in Vancouver and even coached the likes of Sean McCall, World Cup climber. And he's been climbing 514 for over 20 years. Mike is also a software engineer who is very fortunate to travel the world and climb uh, while he works. I know he works very hard, long hours. Um, definitely check out this podcast, The Nugget Podcast, uh, to learn more about Mike. But I just wanted to give a little more background on him so you guys uh, knew who he was. So let's see how he does on the V2. <laughs> I shed so many tears that my tear dots turn red now that hema glowing flowing You're gonna put this in music, right? Like you're not gonna hear my voice? Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, you can hear how hollow it is. Okay. And so that's maybe, a bad thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so even here, like, there's lots of feet up in here that I see. Yeah. You know, like this one here, which I, I imagine that if you're 
you kind of use it starting out, you're not going to see that. But yeah. like hitting that and then dropping the heel, okay. I can shift my weight onto it pretty easily. Yeah, I think that is the hardest part for first timers, trusting those feet. Yeah. Whereas like, I mean, right now I can almost let go. Like yeah. that's how much weight's on my feet. Um, and then what I do a lot on vertical roots like this, I'll put my palm down just to stabilize. So when I move, I'm not, I'm not twisting, right? I'll just palm down, stabilize. That's a thin little one. So yeah, that's the one that Pat said was sketch. Yeah, little, little bit, little what bit should, I think friable. About, what should you think about mentally when you're way up there? Uh, you just want to be balanced, and then if you do feel like something breaking or something slipping, you want to make sure that you eject properly. Decade, wow. decades of falling. You get really <laughs> good at it. <laughs> so one of the things that's it's kind of crazy, but like when you start moving up through the grades right you expect the handholds to get smaller that's just intuitively you're like oh a v6 has worse handholds than a v4 but the big thing is actually like you can only grab certain like the humans can only grab small holds to a certain point but the feet are what get really bad so you just get used to looking for worse feet Got as it. you move up through the, the grades okay sick did that help you out Kaz? do you think it's go time we'll see yeah we'll see how i my mental state is when i'm up i mean okay all you have to worry about is that we're going to critique the crap out of you. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. So. As long as you could block that out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, <clears> let's <throat> go, Kaz. I just want to come down. Okay. Uh, I just want to light. Yep. Now, you, I mean, that's, that's what you want to do. So I actually yeah. wouldn't suggest crossing over like you did. Yeah. I was just going again with the left hand. I want you to try and stand on this. Okay. So just start, like, get up to that hold there. Right. And I want you to stand on that. Yep. Now, I want, what I want you to do is I want you to put, take your right foot off and relax your hands. Relax your hands. Drop, drop your arms down. Drop your arms down. Straighten your arms. Relax yeah. your hands. I want you to put weight on this. Drop your heel. Now, yep, there you go. That's it. Now, now take your weight off the right foot. Put all the weight on your left foot. And swing back and forth a little bit. But now stand up on the left foot hard. Right? See how much pressure you're putting on that left foot? Yeah, yeah. It's... It is not because that is actually a good foothold. Because well, wow, your shoes yeah, yeah. will do your shoes will do all the work. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you don't want to you don't want to stand up with your heel up because uh -huh. you're wearing a pair of slippers. You want to stand with your heel down in order to get as much rubber on that as possible. And then, yeah, if, not I mean, yeah. heel up on something bigger like. You know, and I could literally feel my toe on it. Yeah, like, yeah, like, exactly. That's which is so the solutions are interesting because they actually have like a a numb spot at the front of them. And they take a little bit to get used to, okay. right? So it, it, they, there is actually um, a learning curve to climbing in the in the solutions. Wow! But if you got even a softer pair of shoes, like right. like I'm climbing in a pair of um, the theories, uh -huh. I can stand right over top of it and, and feel everything immediately. So you actually, I think you learn more about climbing in soft shoes. Mm. You might not perform as well. You have to have stronger feet, right. but stuff like that. But you'll learn a lot more. But they're definitely like you also do learn that. Like honestly, if I take any time off of climbing, yeah. The hardest part is getting the shoes back. Comfortable with the shoes, yeah. yeah. Are my feet too high for you, Coach? Nope, you're good. Okay. Up into that pocket. Good. That and then, yeah. Good side pull. Then this is where I did that palm down to get the left foot up. You can do, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch feet and get a foot up. Now get your left foot up by your le pretty high, because you're going up with your left hand again. Yeah. Okay. Like way up here? Yeah, I would. You're gonna to want to put your foot. Oh, put your foot here first. Okay. Put your foot right there first, and then right foot up onto this into this pocket. Good. Oh, now left wow. foot up. Now left foot up. Nice. Good. Now reach with your left hand. We're straight up, right? A little bit more. Okay, you can do that. Yep. Right in there. Yep. Good. Relax. I got you. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and then just be gentle on that one. Okay. And then pull up. Straight up. There you go. Ooh. Cool. And then just top it out? Yeah. Just always look for your feet still. Okay. Be gentle. This, the hold that you're on right now is the one that's a little bit friable. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Nice to go. Still scary. Yeah.
Oh. Yeah, buddy. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mike, doing what you told me definitely helped out when I was up there. Like, dropping the heel a little bit and being light up on the hands, like Pat was telling me. Uh, but it is kind of mental up there, Kaz. You just have to trust, trust the process. I know you're a good boulder. So I think you should give it one more burn before we get out of here, dude. All right, Kaz, what do you think so far? Yeah, got one more go. Yeah, yeah I got one more guy. Oh, and I'll, I'll give you a good guy. spot too. Okay. I'm, right, I'm with you, man. And then okay. this is where the epic piano music comes oh in, shit like that. Pressure, pressure. <laughs> Pressure's good, dude. You just need some knuckle power dude, right here. <laughs> Follow your breathing. Nice, Kaz. Following the breath. Yeah, yeah. Put your left foot here first. Yeah, put the right foot into the pocket. Just inside. Right foot in first. You get your left foot up again. Right foot in. Put your left foot there. Right foot in by your right knee. Right here. Right foot here. It's a good foot over. You can. Yeah, you got it, dude. Come on. There, there's left crimps too. If you need to. Your foot there, left kind of crimp up. Yep. Right above us. Higher. Crimp up one more. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So now get, get right, right in. foot into the pocket. Left foot up. Good edge, right above you. Come on. With the left hand again. We're right. We're here. We're with you. Left it's hand up. You, in and in. Right, right, right. To the right. 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 Down. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Nice, there Cass. Come on. Hold right above you. Big breath, big. relax those arms. Yep. Right with you. Another big hold coming up. Is it right? Yeah. Just stand up on the left foot. And that huge horn with the right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Looking good, Cass. Keep breathing. Yeah. Good, right at the lip. Yep, good. Try and move to the right a bit. There you go. Yep, so you're just kind of walking and relax. We're right with you, dude. Come on, Cass. Good, Waiting. good hands. Waiting. Yeah, wow. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> little beach wow. boy. Wow. You can tell he's a little scared up there. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, yeah. No, but that was awesome. Like that's that's yeah. what. To me, what you just did is climbing. You're you're scared. You know you can do it. You just kind of have that's to thought, keep, tuning keep tuning it out. Keep tuning it out. Keep tuning it out. Better to keep going up than come down at that point. Yeah. <laughs> wow, all it took was two pro climbers to teach us how to climb outside. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's kind of funny because yesterday my five-year-old's like, what does pro mean? And I'm like, a pro is a professional. They get paid to do something. Do you get paid to go rock climbing? And then he's like, are you a pro? And I'm like, no. No. I don't get paid to do anything. No, yeah, that was very useful information though, Mike. Yeah, Thank you cool. for that. Sick. All right, Ken. You're tall as five, man. Did we uh, build a outdoor climber out of you? Or I, have, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, some kind of fun. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if it's the fun I want to experience over and over. Is your wife going to like watching no, this back not. over? <laughs> you're like, if it's going to be that stressful every time, I don't know if I can do this, man. <laughs> I'm going to age out too uh, quick. <laughs> yeah, that was sick, dude. No, that was fun, though. Any closing fun. thoughts? No, I, that was that was great. Really happy that um, Pat and Mike were able to talk me through that. It yeah. really helped. Um, didn't look down that time, so that really helped. It's really good up there. Like I don't think I would have done it if I didn't feel safe, you know. And I, I felt safe up there, totally. so I was like, you know, I'm, yeah. I think I did a bit of a beginner move at the top, but <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was good. All right. Well, I think we should close the video out there, Kaz. Uh, you know what to say. Climb, send, subscribe. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for climbing with us. Thanks, Pat. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Hey, good, good times.